Being here has worked a job has more than a million dollars. I've never worked, I've never did nothing. Heartbreak D and I ain't pick up the phone. No my heart too cold. Where you was? Why you left me alone? Got me mixing the spray with the dope. Pop me a pill, cause it's hard for the coat. When I die, send them demons from hell. Ain't worried about no twelve. Niggas go diss and tell. Stand on ten toes, ain't never gonna fail. I gotta prevail. I gotta Hello there. Are you a black man that grew up in the suburbs? Do you find it very hard to connect with your fellow black peers out there who grew up in rural areas of this country? Well, fear not, because today I'm going to teach you how to be black. But wait, before we start, if you love comedy and fashion and living your best life is your passion, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Okay, so before we start, I want you guys to know that this is a very difficult task and I'm gonna have to break it up into two parts because just being a part of the black community, is very tough. So I can't fit it all in one video. But today, you guys will learn the foundation of being black. And to start that, we have to learn the acronym STOP. This particular acronym is broken down into stance, talking, octave, and posture. Now the first step and the last step go hand in hand, so let's knock those out real quick. Now let's start with stance. As you can see, this guy is in a normal stance for anyone, but in the black community, he looks like a fucking poindexter. The proper stance is to stagger your stance, which means put one foot in front of the other just to give you a, a level balanced playing field in case you have to dodge and have your hand at about waist side just in case you need to block something because shit goes down in the black community. Or you might have to pull out the Glock, you never know. Next, we'll get into posture. As you can see, this dude still looks like he has a stick up his ass. So he wanna relax the shoulders, pull him up, back and down and just slightly relaxing those shoulders and then just lean into it and, and lift your head up. Just show that you're completely vulnerable and relax at this point. It makes the other people around you more comfortable. Now that we've gotten those two out the way, the next up is talking. So for normal people, we tend to pronounce the whole full word, correct? Not in this community. See, being around black people, they tend to be very lax with the language and they tend to shorten the language. For example, when somebody gives something to you or simply hold a door open for you, the normal thing to say is, oh, thank you. But in the black community, we just simply say, appreciate it. Uh-huh, you caught that. Yes, I did take away two letters from the word appreciate. I just took away the A and the P and just said, appreciate it. That is the lax way to tell someone, thank you in the black community. And last but not least, octave. Now, octave, you may say, how does that play a part in being black? But it's all about the tone that you use when you're conversating. Because I could simply say, like I spoke before about somebody opening a door and I'm saying thank you in the black community and I say appreciate it now I'm using black lingo but I still sound like a fucking poindexter correct but by simply switching my octave it sounds more urban and earthy and and, and more robust for example it's a difference between appreciate it bro and hey, appreciate it bro now for you guys to fully grasp what I'm saying about octave and the way that you say things in the black community, I'm gonna tell a story about an altercation that happened to me at a gas station in my normal voice. Then we're gonna switch it over and use the tools that I've given you to switch it up and make it sound more urban. So let's start with the first normal one. And it goes like this. Oh my God, bro. Look at her coming out of the gas station. I know, station. right? She's beautiful. She's freaking gorgeous, hey, man. Hey, man, speaking of gas station, bro, I totally uh -huh. forgot to tell you, I was driving to the gas station the other day, right? Right. And this freaking idiot gonna freaking cut me off trying what? to get into the, the same gas station I was getting into, bro. The so nerve I guess of that he guy. I wasn't gonna say anything when I came out of my car. 
Right. But when I got out, I was like, dude, what's your freaking problem, bro? You almost made me hit the back of your car. Holy crap. Dude, and you he said that? Like he, was, like he was furious with me. Like he was going right. like to gonna do something to me, bro. I had to do what I had to do and defend Don't myself. Tell, what did and you do? I just smacked. I just smacked fire from him, bro. I went you in there, got my him, stuff, bro? You are so I gangster. I didn't want any more problems. Now let's hear that same altercation with the tools that I've shown you so far. Yeah. Uh, and little mommy, thick as fuck. Shut it, it, hey, hell, bro, bro, speaking of gas station, my nigga, bro, how about I was going to the fucking gas station the other day. Word. Bitch, I ain't gonna fucking cut me off. We going to the same fucking gas station, my nigga. And he gonna fucking right. cut me off. So the nigga parked in there and got out. I guess he thought I was pussy or something. Because the nigga thought I wasn't gonna fucking say something. Man, I got out my motherfucking car. I'm like, bro, what the fuck your problem is, bro? You almost did right, run to the fucking nigga. back of you, dumbass, nigga. The nigga was looking at me like he, like he wanted to do me something. I was like, nigga, nigga, bust a move. Before that nigga even flinched, my nigga, I smacked the fuck out that nigga, bro. I went to the store, <laughs> got wilding, my shit, bro. and bumped the fuck up out of there, bro. Because I ain't want no motherfucking car, bro. I, I done been through enough shit today, bro. Like, that, bro, that shit really got me dog. fucking Chill out, like, type bad type shit, bro. Like, the fuck? You see the difference? More passion, more aggression, more everything. And it makes the story sound ten times better, doesn't it? And there you have it, my nigga. That's how you act black. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you implement the shit that I just showed you, you got the foundation, my G. All you got to do is just fucking, like, practice and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, practice make perfect. So I heard it. You know what I'm saying? So, but, like, right about now, it's time for me to get the fuck up out of here and get the fuck off this camera and shit. I'm going to see y'all niggas in the next video. And like I always say, ain't nothing but space and opportunity. And I'll see y'all niggas in the next video. Damn. Trying to knock my hustle, I kill all the love. I'm that nigga, I ain't holding no grudge. I was stuck in the trap, I ain't had to like that. Me and Trim, we were serving the pack. Flip a P, had to get.